I went, man. If he drifted out on that one particular station, I could tune him in just that quick on another one and pick him up like he's in the truck. But, boy, I'm going to tell you what, I don't know where you got some of them people. And I listen to him, you know. I, like I said, I don't know where you got some of those people. But some of them are pretty damn interesting to listen to. But they come up with some they come up with some theories, man. I mean, it, it, they sound like it was very logical. Yeah, I think they still have that RFL show every once in a while. Yeah, but I don't know. Since I've been out of truck, man, I don't know. I don't know where he is. But the uh, last I heard, man, he was he was syndicated and he was transmitting from uh, from his home. He, he's a he's a big ham operator too. gas and crash landed in the desert. Sitting out 
there a UFO lands up in his backyard. He says, let's say it's nighttime. And uh, he sees all this fire and or lights and stuff. He gets up there and he looks out there and sees something coming. So what in the hell is that? And next thing he does, he runs back and gets a damn shotgun. And then he goes outside and when that thing gets up to him, and if he don't, if he don't recognize what it is, uh, next thing gonna happen is that damn shotgun's gonna go off. <laughs> That's right. So now you see why ain't hey, none of them aliens come down here. Doctor, tomorrow, man, I'm 
insurance company sent a damn form. I got to carry up and I got to fill out and do it every damn year. That's not where all he was coming from. 